This is a quick walkthrough on using the Curated Search plugin on your site. Uh, once you install the plugin, you'll notice that there is a Curated Search item in the left-hand navigation menu. And we're going to take a look at the Settings screen first. Uh, here we have a couple of general settings uh, that kind of impact all searches on the site. The first one is the Maximum Results field, and you can use this to limit the total number of results for any search on the site. So I have this set to 5 right here which means that it will only display uh, five search results for any search on the site. You can leave this empty to use WordPress's default behavior and just show all, all the search results that match. We also have this option here for redirecting on one result. So if there is a, uh, a search performed that only results in one, uh, one piece of content, you can have the plugin automatically redirect the user to that particular post or page uh, and bypass the search results page entirely. Uh, we have this little bit of PHP code that we will take a look at in just a second. Um, you can add this to your theme, and this will allow us to, uh, to add a little bit of content to particular search results, but we'll come back to that in just a second. We have this uh, bulk exclude content function down here, which allows you to exclude content based on taxonomy. So we have a couple of options in here, um, and this tells us what we're excluding here. I'm excluding the post category handbags. Here I'm excluding the post tag uh, new. And we can essentially remove these if we would like. And then up here we can select what we want to exclude. This, uh, this will accommodate most custom post types. I have easy digital downloads installed here. And so I can come in here and exclude items based on download tags, download categories. I'm going to go ahead and select posts and we'll exclude that tag that we just had excluded. Hit add and there we go it's added to the list and this just makes it easier than trying to track down category IDs and fiddle with the theme and try and get them, uh, get them excluded. Uh, there is also a meta box on any post or page or custom post type that will allow you to exclude individual pieces of content. So here I am on a post on the site, and if I come down here, I now have this meta box where I can exclude this post uh, from the search results on a on a case by case basis rather than doing it in bulk. And if we come back over here to the curated search menu again, uh, the real magic happens under this special searches item. And I have a couple set up here. We'll take a look at this one. Uh, what these special searches are, are uh, custom post type that allow you to specify a search term and then modify how search results are displayed for that term. So we've given it a name. This can be anything. This doesn't necessarily have to relate to the search term. You can just use this to be a, a descriptive phrase uh, for kind of a set of, of search terms if you like. Uh, down here in the visual editor, this is where that PHP code that we looked at a little bit earlier uh, comes in. If we paste that into our theme file, which we'll do in just a second, we can actually display whatever is in the WordPress editor uh, for the particular search we want uh, at the top of the search results, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. And uh, this works just like the normal editor, so you can use short codes if you want, if you have something like Visual Composer installed. Uh, you can turn that on for this custom post type and uh, and use Visual Composer tools uh, as well. And again, we'll we'll jump into that in just a second and see what this looks like. Uh, down here we have kind of the meat of the plugin. Uh, so we've created a custom uh, or special search is what we're calling it. And here we get to select the primary search term. So giving it the search term restaurant. And anytime someone searches for the word restaurant. Uh, we're going to be able to control how the search results look on that particular page. We also have synonyms, which uh, will essentially return the same search results, the same customized search results page, as the primary search term. So down here I've done two things. One, I've used a misspelling of the word restaurant. This is very handy if you have words that are uh, kind of technical terms or things that are misspelled fairly often. You can essentially use this to intercept those and redirect people to the correct uh, search results. And then I also just have a term that I want to show. Um, I want to show people the same search results as restaurant for food rather than showing them two different sets of results. I want to show them the same thing regardless of which word they search for. We also have this destination URL field down here. This is a relative URL on the site 
where if you would prefer to redirect users to a specific page rather than a page of search results, you can do that here. Uh, say, for example, I created a landing page about restaurants or kind of a topic center about restaurants with a lot of information, and I know that most of the visitors to my site are going to find that a lot more helpful than kind of a random search result page of restaurants. I can essentially paste that in here. And what that will do is just intercept searches for any of the synonyms or the primary term and take users directly to that page instead of to the, the search results page. And down here we have a pinned content feature. So I can select uh, posts, pages, uh, custom post types. Here we have that downloads uh, field again. And put these at the top of the search results page um, above the organic search results. So because this is restaurants, I have a post on here called My Favorite Eats that's going to show up above all of the other organic search results. I can basically come down in here if I want to find something else. Uh, here's a post that's on here. I will uh, I can use the search box to search for it. And again, we've got posts, pages, downloads, any other custom post types you may have. We select the post or posts if there are multiple and hit pin to top and it'll then add it to this list here and I can rearrange the order of these uh, how they appear on the top of the search results page and if I want to get rid of one I can simply click the X icon and get rid of that so as we'll see this uh, this will now show up at the top of the search results page above any organic results uh, for restaurant the misspelling of restaurant and food and the last thing I want to take a look at is adding that little bit of uh, PHP code to the theme file so that we can get this to display above the search results. So I'm going to come back here to settings. I'm going to grab this line of code right here. I'm going to come down to appearance and go to editor. This is the, uh, the theme editor built into WordPress. And what I'm looking for is the search.php file in my theme. I'm going to scroll down and call it search results here and you can see down below it says search.php so I'm going to click on that and I want to paste this line of code uh, below the header and above what WordPress calls the loop and so if I look here um, I can see we've basically got this stuff relating to the header of the site we conveniently have a little header element so I know this is below the the title on the page and all that kind of stuff and here we have the start of the loop uh, as WordPress calls it. So I'm just going to come right in this line below header and above the loop, paste in that line of code, and hit update file. And so now what we'll do is I'm going to visit the site. I'm going to go ahead and search for restaurant. And as you will see uh, on the search results page, I now have this content from the special search uh, WYSIWYG editor, uh, short codes and all included here in case I want to display something like a special offer or coupon code or banner ad or like here I've just got some some special links for people who perform a particular search. We have that My Favorite Eats uh, post uh, pinned to the top above the organic results and if I come back here and type in food which was one of our synonyms, you'll see I get exactly the same results. It still tells me I'm searching for food, but it's showing me exactly the same results as it would for the restaurant search.